Hi, and welcome back to the Vlogger Interviews. Today we have Luke Thompson, MIPI 5, direct from Minnesota. Now, Luke must be doing something right because not only does he have haters, but he has some haters who want to kill him. How did you come into doing all this? Now, how long have you been doing it, first of all? Um. We posted our first video, I think, when I was a senior in high school, which would have been about five years ago now. Mm -hmm. And the first video I ever saw online was the uh, David Blaine Street Magic video. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen that one, but sure. we, we basically just copied that video word for word and posted our version, and it was terrible. But then uh, as I got into college, I kind of got into music a little bit, and uh, we started doing parodies of popular songs, and a couple were big on campus, and then uh, slowly we expanded our audience, and still doing it now. How did you develop what you're doing today? I mean, how did this whole thing evolve for you? Well, my dad was the first one that got me into editing. He, uh, he helped me make wiffle ball highlight DVDs every year when I was younger, and that kind of got me into the whole editing portion. And then uh, I applied those editing skills that I learned from him into a school project my sophomore year in college. And we did a music video for our final project. And looking back, it was pretty bad, but the class thought it was <laughs> sweet. So <laughs> um, that kind of made it snowball. And slowly, I think they've gotten a little better. But what, what, did, what did you study? I I majored in uh, elementary education. Okay, and then you and and the the video. Now, do you have any intention for the video? I mean, in terms of what you've been doing uh, online, or is it just something that you're doing is for fun, really? Um, well, right now it's my job. Mm -hmm. I um, right now all I'm doing is doing YouTube. Um, I graduated in December, and I gave myself. I'm giving myself six months to do YouTube full time to see where that can go. Mm -hmm. So I'm about halfway through that right now. And then uh, um, I don't really, I'm not really looking to become a musician. I'm not really looking to become a comedian from it. I'm just hoping to get a big enough audience on YouTube where it can support me, if not full time, be a really good part-time job and I'm, I'm also trying to improve my editing skills I started doing some freelance music videos for local artists and whatnot so I'm trying to dabble in all those little aspects well that's that's my next question in terms of how has what you've been doing online sort of impacted your your real life so to speak yeah it's been there's been a lot of sweet opportunities that I never could have dreamed we would get to do. We've got to perform at our Minnesota State Fair because of our Minnesota Girls song, which has about two million views right now. And uh, we've got to perform at the University of Minnesota. Um, our My old uh, middle school asked us to come and perform at their end of the year type stuff. And uh, I've also got to go to a couple of video shoots for real musicians <laughs> it's been fun to meet them and see how the the big the big guys do it so <laughs> what do you i mean what you, what is it that you like the most about this whole experience i like it because it's an outlet i can create a new personality for each video any music video video i do i take on a new personality any video i do i get to be somebody else that I'm not in the real in the real world. In real life, I'm pretty shy. I don't really talk much. Mm -hmm. But on camera, I can use it as an outlet to express myself in ways that would just be weird to express in real life, I guess. <laughs> I mean, in, in a lot of people, now you you've apparently have, have some recognition in your, uh, I guess, your hometown or, your, or in, your, in your region. Um, mm -hmm. But I mean, in your day-to-day -day life, do people know what you're doing other than your friends your close friends obviously do but I mean outside of that um, it's funny trying to explain to people when they ask so what are you doing after college <laughs> and I just tell them I work for YouTube 
And they're like, what does that mean? Do you go to YouTube headquarters and design their website or whatnot? And then I just have to tell them, no, I just make videos and I get to make whatever video type I want. I have no really rules or whatnot. And I don't think the average person understands that. Um, but hopefully in a few years, it'll kind of be more socially accepted that <laughs> I can make whatever video I want and people will watch it and I get paid if they watch it. <laughs> I mean, what it, it seems that's a good, you know, a good point in that it seems like so many people, as many people who already know what YouTube is and, and what, you know, what YouTube videos are, so many mm -hmm. people don't know or still don't know. I mean, you yeah. know, what do you think about how to get the word out there to beyond where it is now so that people like you can make a living doing it? Yeah, well, I don't think people need to understand how I make my living in order for me to do it as long as right. they're watching. Um, hopefully, as YouTube grows, it'll be, become more of a norm and people will understand that YouTube is the next television and YouTube is slowly taking over as a mainstream um, form of media. And hopefully as YouTube gets bigger, people just get a better understanding of it and it'll be easier to explain what I do, I guess. For somebody who, who doesn't know YouTube and doesn't know, you know online video, can you define mm -hmm. what, a, um, what a good following is on YouTube? I think it's all relative. I've got about 9,000 subscribers and I'm, I'm very happy with those 9,000, but I would also love to see that double, triple, get into the six digits, ideally. Right. Um, in order to make a good living, I think you need to have those six digit subscriber following and whatnot. Um, if you're not looking to do YouTube full time, all you need is one friend to watch a video and that's a right. good following. <laughs> well, it's, it's all relative, I guess. But in terms of, I mean, you know, a YouTube following means it's not just people watching you, it's interacting with you, right? Yep. Yep. And I try to, I do my best to try and get the viewers engaged. I have a Facebook page, at, um, Mippy5 on YouTube and I asked them questions. The other day I posted a picture of something we're working, we're working on and told them to guess what song we're doing. <laughs> and if they guessed it, they got their name in the video. So little stuff like that gets them engaged and makes them feel like a part of it because they are a part of it. If it weren't for them, I wouldn't be doing it. Sure. In terms of what your own, uh, of all your videos, is there one in particular that, that you're particularly fond of? <laughs> Probably, there's a couple of my favorites, I guess. One was called The Wheelchair Roll. It's a typical dance type music video I did with my college friends about a year ago. And then uh, I did one recently called uh, Grow Up, saying, talking about not wanting to grow up. And that's the, that's the first video where I actually kind of was myself the whole time in the video and didn't take on an alter ego. And that was really fun to do. And then just recently, we did one called uh, Mild Boy. It's a parody to uh, Machine Gun Kelly's Wild Boy. <laughs> it was the first time I got a real good um, photographer to film the video. So the quality was a lot better, and I'm kind of proud of that. So I'm looking to buy a new camera now after seeing that. <laughs> That's cool. Well, I mean, in, and what advice would you give to somebody who uh, is just thinking about starting to uh, do what you're doing, basically? If you're going to do it, don't do it for the money. Make sure you do it for fun and because it's something you want to do. And don't be afraid to put yourself out there. You're going to have criticism. I get hated on every day. I get a death threat a week probably. You just, you just got to learn to live with it and know that if people are hating on you, it's because they're jealous or wish they were in your shoes. So just... Be yourself, put yourself out there, and whatever happens, happens. Wow. A death threat? Are you serious? You get oh, death yeah. threats? Yeah. Well, yeah why? Just... I mean, what, what, what possible reason would somebody have to give it to? I mean, I think a lot, I think a lot of people misinterpret the uh, term parody mm -hmm. in a way that I'm making fun of their artist. So they get real defensive of 
their artists. If I do an Eminem parody, they think I'm bashing Eminem. When in reality, I'm paying homage to his song and just wrapping it in a different light and trying to put some comedy spin to it. But there's always going to be people that just don't understand that. And when when you started doing this, did did it take you a while to understand that or, or get used to that sort of hate? Um, yeah. Um, a few years ago, I, I would just get excited if I got an email saying somebody commented on the video. And I'd be real nervous to read it to see if it was good or bad. And if I got a few bad ones in a row, I'd kind of get down in the dumps a little bit. But nowadays, I still read probably 80 to 90% of the comments, but... I take the good ones, and and uh, I appreciate them, but the bad ones, you kind of just have to shrug off. Thanks, Luke. I hope you check out Luke's channel, Mippy5. And uh, if you like what you saw here, please subscribe and comment and all that good stuff. I will see you next time on The Blogger Interviews.